about to experience the scariest moment of his life. I'm just gonna let you know, I'm not afraid of anything. We'll see. You cannot scare me. Seal them up! You have to survive 10 minutes with a thousand spiders to move on. Oh. Release the spiders! Oh. Start the timer! The reason we're doing this is because Max said no matter how hard I try, I can't scare him. Would you say you're scared now? Oh, I'm getting there a little bit. A little bit? <laughs> and this is only one of many fears Mac will face in this video. Oh god! And if he can successfully face all of the fears, he will win $800,000. I'm not gonna lie, this was way more gnarly than I thought it would be. Three, two, one. Lift it up, lift it up. Oh, yeah. Congratulations on passing the first challenge! Let's go! But Mac has to finish all of these fears if he wants to win the $800,000 prize. Mac, I know you're blindfolded, but trust me, just walk up this ramp. Raise us up! Uh, Why are you taking a knee? What is what? Uh, just, it's stand up, stand up. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, okay, Jimmy. you can hold on to it. That's cute. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, okay. <laughs> Mac, take off your blindfold. <laughs> Welcome to challenge number two. Oh. The next fear is the fear of heights. You're gonna stand on the end of that plank, unclip this so you'll be connected to nothing. No, dude. Press that button and then free fall 200 feet. And without knowing how, trust, I'll catch you. No, no. You're no. shaking. Yeah, of course I'm shaking. I'm gonna fall off of this and without a harness on? Yeah. I can't even see the ground. Oh, be very careful. Mac, I'm just gonna tell you, even though you can't see the ground, you are very, very high up. Oh my God, Mac. All you have to do is unclip it and press that button. Oh my God. I want you to look at me in the eyes right now yeah. and tell me that I'm gonna fall and something's gonna catch me. Something will break your fall, I promise. Oh my. You're literally attached to nothing. Oh my God. The clip is gone. Oh my God, dude. Ah. You don't have to do it. If you want to, you can tap out and just admit that you are wrong and you do get scared. No way. Dude. Ah! I would have to say, you look pretty scared. Oh my god. Five, four, three, two, one. Godspeed. Godspeed. Zero. He did it. God, he's a psycho. <laughs> and if you're wondering who my psychotic friend Mac is, he's actually a contestant from a previous challenge video. And sadly, he ended up losing $800,000. But now he is on challenge three of six to attempt to win that money back. Here we are. Yeah. The next challenge. Why don't you get a $5 car? Put 800 <laughs> grand inside of it? As you can see, this car is pointed towards the lake. I'm guessing you're going to want me to drive the car into the lake? No. That would be dangerous. As you can see, there's no gas pedal. Obviously, you can't drive it in the lake. Yeah, I'm so stupid. Why would I think that I could drive it into the lake? Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. stupid, yeah. Which is why we're gonna drop him in the lake. Bring in the crane! Oh, oh, Jimmy. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Oh, it is getting real now. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, Mac, listen up and listen good. Once we drop you at this lake, the car will quickly begin to sink. And in the back seat is the 800 grand you've been competing for divvied up into eight duffel bags. However many bags you can save from this sinking car determines how much money you'll continue competing for in this video. And whatever you leave behind is gone forever. Oh my gosh, dude. I will never tell you that I'm scared. But I'm about as close as you can be right now. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> I can tell. Before we drop your car, I'm gonna give you one offer. If you quit right now. And admit I scared you. I'll give you $100,000. And we call it even. Yeah, all right. He's not gonna take it. There's not a god. I knew that was coming. Yeah. Hey, no one take that. I knew he was gonna do that. I lost it all last time. It's not happening again. God. Drop him! Oh! Oh! Oh. Hey Mac! You've got about 20 seconds to break out of that car before it sinks under the water! Ah. Mac, the car! 
Mars going under! Hurry up! Come on! Oh God! No! That sunk so fast. Oh my god. He's out. Oh. He's alive. Hey, oh. Mac. No, go grab that back from him. All right. Somebody grab this. The scariest part about this challenge is every second the car sinks deeper into the water, making it harder to get to and harder to see. So if Mac wants to keep all of his prize money, he really needs to be moving as fast as possible. But as you can see, that's not going to be easy. Saving bag? Oh my god, that's awesome. After bag, after bag. Ah! Mac, you are crazy. But on top of the fact that the car is sinking deeper and deeper, what Mac hasn't realized yet is that the last two bags of money are actually seat belted into the back seat of the car. Could be an action movie, honestly. Well, he was like a borderline Olympic swimmer earlier in his life, which is why I did this fear. Wait, but it's like 40 feet down and the water is freezing cold. How can he hold his breath that long? Oh, he got another bag. Bro, you got 700 grand on the boat. Just stop now. No. Just stop now. Just leave it on the bottom of the lake. We can do the next. No! He doesn't care. At this point, the car was literally at the bottom of this 45 foot deep lake, making it almost impossible for Mac to retrieve the last $100,000. Yeah, you know, it really cannot. It's black down there. There's nothing. Are you officially calling it? I can't see the car, Jimmy. It's gone. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh the boat's tilting. Wow. You are very athletic. Do you like this video better or the other video better? Dude, this video is like 10 times as intense. I know. And even though this looks very crazy, there's actually seven safety divers on standby to make sure Mac didn't die. Your prize is now 700 grand. But from here on out, it's all or nothing. Mac has to face the three remaining fears to walk out of this with his 700 grand. This one might be the hardest one. Ah, uh, okay. Go on. <laughs> is it grosser than spiders? Just come on in. Inside this room is a metal box. In order to progress, you'll need to reach inside the box and pull out what's inside. And before you put your hand in the box, we're going to need you to sign this. It just basically says that you can't sue me if anything in there hurts you. <sighs> just sign right there. All right, we got it signed. What is it, like an animal or something? Uh, there are things in this box. Uh, just step up here. You put your hand in one of these holes. Okay. And there's a thing in here you need to pull out. Oh, dude, that is freaky. It's, uh, okay. I'm just gonna make sure it's moving. Stop. Okay, go for it. Ah! It clearly has not touched him yet. No matter what, once you grab onto it, you have to pull it out. What you grab is our brand new Beastable Wars. <laughs> we got all new branding and a better tasting formula. Let's try it together. I am not gonna go soft on you. I'm gonna tell you honestly what I think. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. The new formula is milkier, creamier. We have our all new crunch flavor, the milk chocolate flavor, almond flavor, my personal favorite, and peanut butter. These new and improved Feastable Bars are rolling out now. Give us a couple of days to get them on the shelves in your local Walmart, Target, 7-Eleven, and I cannot wait to see what you think of them. All right, Mac, you ready for the next fear? Jimmy, I've been in this exact same room, and I've had a bunch of money on the line before. Yep. I'll tell you what, if you give me 500 grand right now, I'll walk. Do you guys hear this, man? Jimmy. Who asked for 500 grand? 400 grand. No. Hear me out. If you said 200, maybe 250, I would have considered it. All right, how about 350? No. All right, let's go. Next challenge. <laughs> I knew he'd break. <laughs> All right, I might have lied. That one wasn't actually that hard. But this next one is actually based on one of the scariest things I've ever done. Oh, there's no way. I love how quickly he pieced it together. No, 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 no. There is actually no way. Come on. There is actually no way, Jimmy. Is it that obvious what it is? What gave it away? The tombstone with your name? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. For the next challenge, we are going to bury you alive for 24 hours. Ah, Whoa. no Whoa, way, wait. dude. And you 
can get out whenever you want, but you don't know what time it is, and if you leave before the 24-hour mark, you lose everything. It's a good fear. Yes. For once, I'm on the other side. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh my gosh. It might get a little cold. Oh, no, and don't mess it up. I'm sorry not to. This is from my nightmares, man. It feels wrong being on the other side of this, but also fun. Oh, what the? Oh, this is so freaky. The funny thing is that the timer hasn't even started yet because you aren't fully buried. It feels wrong saying this, but can you bury me faster? As you wish, Mac. Bring in the extra hands. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Ah! Let's officially start the timer. Looks like 24 hours just started. I'm already freaked, so this ain't gonna be good. Max, see that rope above your head? Can you pull it for me real quick? Is this a trick? No. Next time you pull that bell, we will dig you up. And if it does not say above 24 hours, you lose everything. I will burn your house down. <laughs> and also the $700,000. Yeah, I was like, everything? Everything. Sweet dreams, Mac. Uh, don't throw the walkie talk. Oh. Uh, was it that predictable? I already know they threw it, and I'm not even up there. It's so much more fun to be on this side of it. And to make sure Mac doesn't die in his own grave, he's gonna be wearing this wristband that directly tells us his heart rate and vitals. And no, it does not give him any way of knowing what time it is. Basically, I need to figure out how to keep track of the time. So here's my strategy. I could try to stay awake for two hours, sleep for 10 hours, and then I would be halfway done with the challenge, and I could just do that twice, and then I'd be good. With Mac's plan now in place, his first step was to pass the time for the next two hours. Well, it's no feastful bar, but I guess it makes hunger stop. But it was pretty obvious he was quickly getting bored. You're gonna be honest, not much going on inside this room. That's the whole point. And Mac being bored this early is a pretty telltale sign that he may not be too good at this. Because already within 45 minutes, Mac's idea of time was horrendously off. I think it's been about two hours. I'm gonna try to get about 10 hours of sleep, which should put me at the halfway mark. Even though the pro to sleeping is it will help Mac pass the time faster. First night sleeping in the coffin. The con is it's very difficult for him to keep track of how long he's been buried, especially when he's not even able to stay asleep for more than 30 minutes at a time. I have no idea what time it is right now. I'm a little creeped out. <laughs> Hoping for the love of God, it's been over 12 hours. I think that's where we're at. And because when I did this challenge, I was constantly woken up by my friends, Jimmy Jam! I thought I'd give Mac the same joyful experience. Wake up, Mac, are you okay? Whoa. Dude, you look like you just got hit by a truck. It kind of feels like I did just get hit by a truck. If I was to legitimately guess how many hours in I am, I think it's like... The longer Mac stayed in the coffin, the less he seemed to know what time it was. Might be hour 16. And because we like to build a lot of suspense on this channel, for the remainder of this sphere, you're not gonna know how long he's been in there either. And even though Mac wanted to ensure that he was gonna be there long enough, it was clear the claustrophobia was getting to him. Being in this coffin is scary. Like, that, and the longer I'm in here, the worse I feel. It's a crazy feeling. But eventually, when we saw Mac begin to grab that rope, we knew he was thinking about ringing that bell. That's the face of somebody that's about to ring this bell soon. There's no way it's been under 24 hours. God, I'm nervous. <laughs> I've been in one of these videos before, and I've lost everything. And the only reason I even am back here at all and got a second chance is actually because of you guys. Me screwing up that second chance all comes down to if I know for a fact it's been 24 hours. I really hope I'm not making a mistake right now. Max, buddy, pal, how you doing? Jimmy, I'm pretty nervous. I don't want to accidentally reveal the time, so no comment. Jimmy, I don't know how you did this for seven days, dude. I do not feel well in here. Yeah, have you got to the point where you start to lose blood flow in your legs? And you feel like your back is gonna fall out of your body? <laughs> Jimmy, I'm thinking about pulling this thing. No comment. Jimmy, I'll give you 50 bucks back if you tell me what time it is. No comment. <laughs> all right, well, I got a comment for you. Just get a shovel ready, all right? Three. Oh my gosh, she's about to do it. Two. This is it. One. Oh! Stop the timer! And now that Mac has made his decision, there was just one last thing I had to do. 
Do you mind if I tell them about Shopify while we unbury you? You have got to be kidding. Shopify is a platform that helps entrepreneurs get started down the path they want. Sometimes starting a business can be scary, like getting covered in spiders or being buried alive. I can tell you, you do not want to be buried alive. But Shopify is here to help. If I hadn't started my own business, I wouldn't have been able to go to all the crazy places like Antarctica and make videos like these for you guys. And just like millions of other people have done with Shopify, you can get started today on your business right now. Mac, do you want to know how long you're in there? I have a feeling you're not going to tell me until you dig me up. You are correct. And one of the perks of owning my own business is I can do fun things like send one of my friends to the Super Bowl. Back. Carl and Nolan each have their very own football for sale. And whoever's football sells the most, I'm going to give you tickets to the Super Bowl. And I'm going to bury the other one alive. All that matters is that you download the shop app and vote for one of them by buying either Nolan's or Carl's football. And now that I can afford this video, let's see if Mac loses $700,000. Hi. Hi, Hey, Jimmy. There you go. Welcome to the outside world. Now that you are out of the coffin, let's see if you are in there for 24 hours. If the number I reveal is lower than 24 hours, then you lose 700 grand. Ah, uh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Three, two, one. 36 hours. That is oh. what I am talking about. He scares me. Congratulations, Mac. This means that you are now just one challenge away from winning all this money. Let's go. You should probably go shower first. Yeah, I smell, uh, not great. So far in this video, Mac has shown me it is very difficult to scare him. But the final challenge of this video may just be Mac's worst fear ever. And that's because the final challenge of this video is a one-to-one -one recreation of the challenge he failed on last time. The last challenge. Hold this in front of your face. Don't look. Hey, I'm not looking. Don't look. I'm not looking. All right, keep your eyes closed. Don't open them. Don't open your eyes. Keep walking. Don't open them. Don't open them. All right. Open them. No! No, 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 no. I'm not doing that again, dude. Come over here. Oh! No! Jimmy! I do not want to do this again. Stand here where the cameras can no! see you. Okay. Oh! The last challenge is the fear of failure. Oh. We recreated the set where he lost $800,000 in this video. And like last time, the rules are extremely simple. There are four stages. Each has its own cookie with a shape on it. You have to cut out all the shapes without breaking a cookie. And if you do break a cookie, you lose $700,000. And for you specifically, it will have been the second time it's happened. This is from my nightmares, man. I do not want to be here again. Well, good, because I have an offer for you. You can quit right now and walk away with this 300 grand or risk it for the biscuit. And if you finish this final challenge, win $700,000. This is actually like a very, very big decision. Yeah, because that's not quite enough, is it? It's less than half. But if you lose again, that is $1.5 million lost on this set. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Oh, he's hitting it. Mac, I know this is hard, but you're gonna have to make a decision here. Do you wanna go home with $300,000 or do you wanna risk it all for this final challenge? All right, fine, I'm doing it. All right, to be honest, I'm glad. I want you to win this whole thing. If you look at this iPad right here, this is exactly how long it took Mac to get through all four stages last time he did the challenge. 34 minutes and 54 seconds. So that's exactly how long I'm gonna give you again. Starting now. Don't break the cookie while opening it. There you go. Even though he's going quick right now, it might not be in his best interest, because if he accidentally snaps the cookie, he loses. 34 minutes. Oh wow, you did it that quick? Scan, 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 scan! It's green. This is a much different feel than last time. So I'm gonna take my sweet time cutting the circle out. Look out! He is flying through this. <laughs> Why is it so much harder to open? Probably because you're like freaking out. You want me to try? <laughs> open it. Okay, hold my iPad. Okay, it's very hard to open. What are you guys doing? I don't want to be responsible for that. <laughs> Be careful. Theoretically, Mac's strategy makes sense. Getting through the easier shapes fast to save all the time for Umbrella, which he lost 800 grand on. You literally still have 32 minutes left. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need all 32 of those for Umbrella. That is borderline impossible. Move out. Oh, I'm moving. Open it. Allow me. Oh. <laughs> 
Clap, 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 let's go! Smack, stop breaking my set. Bro, you guys gotta make these easier to open. <sighs> There's just no need to rush. You're literally using no time. I mean, you might need to go slower on this one because it's a lot trickier. This one's pretty hard. Not even close to Umbrella. I'm trying to get to the race before I start racing. God, this is so hard. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't need that anymore. I, uh... Um... And maybe it didn't break all the way through? Ooh, okay. Um, he still had 29 minutes left. He did the first two in four minutes. I don't know why it did this. Oh my god. I did that twice? Here, give me your hand. No, Jimmy, please, I don't want to leave yet. No, Jimmy. No, dude, I don't even, like, I don't even know how to feel right now. Like... Right here, come on. <laughs> I have, like, so much time. Yeah. I'm still just not sure why you were going so fast. The umbrella. I just, I just know that umbrella takes forever. Yeah. Okay. Mac told me in this video that there was nothing I could do to scare him. And after putting him through spiders, a sinking car, and more, I really did start to believe him. Godspeed. The only thing that ended up getting to Mac was the fear of his own failure. Godspeed. <laughs>